hello guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel today we are making chapati and today i'm gonna share the one hack that made it easy for me to figure out how to make chapati and even my mother would be so surprised that i know now know how to make chapati so let's get straight into it so the one hack that really made a difference for me was to start with water always start with water and warm water or cold water it doesn't matter at least in my opinion so start with your cup of water add salt and sugar then make sure to taste this solution at this point because it will tell you how your chapati will taste then add your oil then followed by your all-purpose flour i'm using two and a half cups of all-purpose flour so if you're keen on just following the recipe you can just follow it but the reason i said it's a hack to start with water it's because it's you're less likely to mess up your dough when you start with water because that way you add your flour gradually slowly by slowly because if you start with the flour then add water you're more likely to add less water and have a stiff dough which is which is not what we want because you'll end up making very hard chapati but the secret to the softest chapati is start with your water when you start with your water and add your flour gradually bit by bit you're less likely to mess it up because that way you can adjust until you achieve the desired consistency so once your dough comes together we are going to transfer it to a clean surface with a little bit of some flour then continue kneading it until it gets soft and no longer sticks on your hands the kneading part is the make or break of chapati making process so be patient add your flour bit by bit do not rush the kneading process so at some point you'll notice your dough has come together still a little bit sticky but not too sticky so you add a bit of oil and continue kneading until it becomes stretchy and uh, it doesn't break when you stretch it so once it's ready we're going to transfer it to a bowl lightly oiled bowl then cover the dough and let it rest if you're in a rush let it rest for 30 minutes but if you can please let it rest for at least one hour because resting the dough is very important for a good outcome so once it's, it's rested it should be this stretchy so we'll roll it out into a circle then we're going to proceed and oil the dough ensure to put just enough oil not too much because we do not want our chapatis to be soggy with too much oil and proceed to cut out your dough into stripes strips as shown this dough makes about eight chapatis then roll each strip to make a bowl as shown and make sure to lightly fly your bowls so that they do not stick to each other or on the surface as you roll out the rest of the dough I like to first dry out my chapatis with no oil before proceeding to fry them so this is the plate i'll be placing them on and there is my pan so proceed to roll out your chapati a bowl at a time roll your bowl into a circle they do not have to be perfect so once you roll them out put them on the pan then once you see bubbles start to form flip over and let the other side cook for a minute or two then proceed for the rest of the bowls at this stage we do not add any oil we are just drying them out and preparing them for the next stage which will be faster and more easier then i'm going to be placing my chapatis in this basin that i've lined with uh, foil and make sure to cover your chapatis as you cook then i cook my chapati two at a time then proceed as shown put oil below the chapati you're cooking the top chapati is just to help you you know move around the bottom chapati without getting burnt so make sure to move it around so that it gets heat evenly I don't know if i'm making sense so make sure to add just enough oil not too much 
continuously moving around the chapati then flip it over and cook the other side then once you cook the other side proceed for the rest of the chapatis this top chapati that i'm placing my hand on i like to use the chapatis that i cook made in the beginning because they are already not too hot so that way your hands will get burned so if you'd like to cook your chapati one by one oil top of your chapati flip it over cook that side then you can move around your chapati using a spoon or a spatula then once your chapatis are done make sure to cover them with a the foil and let them rest before proceeding to enjoy your chapatis guys i hope you learned something from this recipe and you're going to give it a try such a simple recipe i hope i explained it clearly if you have a question please comment down in the comment section below i'd be getting back to each one of you and thank you for watching see you in another